the ugly backyard to the building I live in. And as you can see, it is snowing. First things first, I'm headed to the gym. All right, I'm done at the gym. I should have taken you. Uh, I don't know why I didn't, but now I'm done at the gym. And uh, good news is that it's warmed up about five degrees, which is nice. Bad news, now it's just raining. A friend uh, just invited me to perform at his musical comedy show um, in Brooklyn. This is nice, unexpected performance opportunity with some good people. I'm looking forward to it now. It's dreary and rainy out here. Nah. Looks like it's still raining. Yeah. Just a little tip when you're walking in the rain and waiting at a stoplight. Watch out for puddles. Otherwise you get splashed by cars who don't give a crap and are going too fast. Over the years, and then... Hey! Hey, Ashton. How's it going? Not too bad. Oh, I guess I'll... You got coffee? I'm at a place, uh, like a coffee shop slash bar thing in Brooklyn called Muchmores, as you saw. Ashton has joined me. <laughs> and there is creepy art on the walls. Fun! since then. All right, so uh, here we go. When I was a boy, my father sat me down, and he wore a serious look. Come back when I'm so <laughs> All right. I had my eyes closed because I was singing real hard, but I can tell you guys are judging me. <laughs> a lot of people say that having sex is like riding a bicycle. But for me, it's more like riding a motorcycle. Um, it's really scary. <laughs> I have something to show you. Guerrilla marketing. bathroom because when you drink beer this is where you end up in the bathroom because you eventually have to pee and I just wanted to show you some of the uh, graffiti slash art on the walls uh, some of the great band names like uh, jerkogram psychiatric metaphors sleep fleet like the alliteration there libricide it's fun in here but alas it is creepy if I stay too long. All right, we left the bar and now we're getting some pizza. Uh, a place called Best Pizza, and I hope it lives up to its name. Looks pretty good. Just a bottle of water. So I am standing here at 14th Street. Uh, waiting for my train to come home and I think I'm gonna sign off for the night until tomorrow.
But before I do, I want to uh, tell you how great of a night I had uh, and just sort of convey a lesson and a thought process uh, or mantra, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And just when you can, say yes. If you can afford the sleep, if you can afford the costs, and sometimes even when you can't, say yes. Because more often than not, you're going to have a great time and you're going to do something that you would normally do with uh, people who you may not have met before and you're going to have experiences that you would normally have and they're going to be worth it. So, when you can, say yes. With that, I'm going to sign off for tonight and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's Sunday. Uh, I just recently woke up, as you can tell by my deep voice. As uh, I got up to check my, do my morning Facebook check, someone on Facebook posted this. Um, my roommate Dave is watching football. It's the first uh, game of the playoffs for the Colts, and he's very much involved in that game. When I was in Chicago, I worked at a Best Buy on the north side of Chicago. Very nice store. I loved it. I met a lot of really great people who are now really good friends of mine. Um, well, apparently, last night at around 5 a.m. this morning. Breaking news from the Lincoln Park neighborhood. Chicago police reporting another smash and grab robbery, this time at the Best Buy on the city's north side. Determined people will get whatever they want, whether it's good or bad. Remember that. I am now going to, uh, going to cook myself dinner using the stuff we bought from deals the dollar store last week and I'm gonna show you what I make I'm gonna get some water boiling uh, start cooking the noodles and then I have uh, the salmon fillet that we got for a dollar um, and I'm gonna start cooking that because I think that's gonna take the longest to cook we have this pan over here on medium put some olive oil in there this is where we're gonna cook the salmon fillet Watch out for popping grease. Sam's cooking. The water is boiling, so grab my pack of ramen in here. Gently place the ramen brick in there. Keep the flavoring pack. I know this is the unhealthy part, but keep it because we're going to make a uh, sauce with it later. It's searing nicely. Colts must have done something uh, important. See there on the edge. It's a nice look through. It's still a little bit frozen, but 10 minutes on either side should cook it completely. Around the noodles are done. We don't want to leave them in there too long, otherwise they get slimy. So if you remember, I bought this bag of pepper stir fry. This was only a dollar, and it's a, whole, it's a pound. We're going to put this in the pan first so that it can um, defrost itself, I guess, and cook. I don't actually measure anything. I'm just only cooking for myself, so whatever looks good, looks good. I would suggest measure, measuring them if you are rationing things, if you're on an extreme budget, because um, then you know that you're getting all of the servings, the amount of servings that you want out of whatever you're cooking. That salmon is almost finished, and uh, we're getting started in the sauce, which should only take maybe three to five minutes, so that's good. All right, all our butter is melted. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take this packet of ramen flavor and put it in there. Salmon is done, so we're gonna take it off. And put it on a plate here. So as you can see here, we have uh, vegetables, Ooh. <laughs> some heat, and uh, a lot of oil and fat. Um, that's the butter. This five pound bag of flour cost me $2.25, and this will last me a long time. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there uh, just to start out and let it thicken. Um, if it gets too thick, you can always just add water or milk or whatever kind of sauce you're trying to make, you can add accordingly. But I'm gonna put this in there right now before all the butter melts away. In all honesty, I probably added added uh, too, too much flour at the beginning of making this because I've added a water to thin it up, and it's getting there, but it's, I already have way too much sauce, as you can see. And this is what I have. So, for 20 cents, 20 cents for the noodles, I'd say 
50 to 75 cents for the sauce at the most, and then the salmon was a dollar. So for less than two dollars, we made ourselves this beautiful dinner. I haven't tasted it yet, so we'll see how it tastes, and I'll let you know. So I can honestly say that that is really good. Truly delicious. That's just a little inspiration for you to uh, experiment in the kitchen. Thanks mom for teaching me enough to be able to experiment. You know, try something, make something for yourself. If it doesn't taste good, you learned. Next time don't do the same thing. I don't have anything exciting planned for the rest of the night, except I'm uh, Katie Mac, who you've seen plenty of times, and I are Skyping later. So, I'm talking to Katie Mac. Say hi, Katie Mac. Hi, Katie Mac. Um, and we're planning our trip. Where are we going? Vacation! What? What? Oh, it's a racecation. Yeah, where to? To Miami, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Florida. And she is racing. I am watching, and we're going to do lots of other fun stuff. Hopefully, he gets a neck by then. <laughs> Thanks for joining me this weekend. I hope that you enjoyed the little uh, the little tutorial in the kitchen. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next weekend.